Virgo. Hey, Virgo. I'm Eric. Welcome to Divine Conversations. Thank you. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is your reading for the second half of March 16th to the 31st. Yeah. Virgo is my rising sign, so I'm interested in seeing what this has to say. <laughs> okay, let's get to it. A little bit of shop talk for you. I am available on Instant Go. If you have a quick question you'd like to ask me, the link to my Instant Go uh, profile is in the description box below. And I am also available for private readings. So if you would like to get one from me, you will find my email address along with a list of different readings that I offer all in the description box below as well yeah so spirit please make me a clear channel for all virgos sun moon and rising please bring forward the best messages for virgo for the second half of march 16th to the 31st thank you so much virgo or yeah well thank you virgo but thank you so much spirit <laughs> all right Virgo. Let's just get to it here. I'm going to cut the deck. Did I drop something? No. Okay. Overall energy for Virgo. <laughs> We've got the page of wands. I feel like somebody's looking to make a passionate offer towards someone else. Hmm. Mmm, that's nice. Next, we have the Four of Pentacles with the Ten of Wands. And finally, underneath that, we have the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so, Virgo, let's talk. <laughs> um, what I'm seeing here is the Four of Pentacles some you were holding on to something but i feel like you've let that go or um well because the ten of wands is ten of wands is here and that's talking about being overburdened and the reason why i feel like you either let it go or you're really trying to let it go is because you have the ace of pentacles which is a brand new start okay so this could be a relationship um uh, maybe you were holding on to some to someone to some sort of relationship you had with someone, but it was overburdening you. Like you were you were carrying all the weight of this relationship. And so now you've let it go and you're looking to make an offer to someone else. Either you know this person already that you're looking to make an offer uh, to. They could be a fire sign, uh, Leo, Aries, Leo, uh, Sagittarius. Um, or you're just very passionate about it and you either are looking to make an offer to them or you're looking for someone else to make this offer to. Because the person you were trying to make it to originally wasn't with it, is what I'm picking up here. Yeah, okay. Um, moving forward in your story, we have yeesh, the Three of Swords, yep, with the sun. And, um, the sun came out reversed, so I'm going to read it that way. But the Three of Swords is talking about what I was just saying, about how you had this relationship with someone that you were holding on to, but heartbreak ensued because of narcissist, narcissism, narcissistic tendencies. And, and, and that's, that's coming through with the sun in reverse. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But I mean, I feel like it's over now. Because, okay, because if, you know, if you haven't let go of this yet, Virgo, I, you really need to. You really need to just let this go, okay? Because it's not, it's not helping you. It's hurting you. And now if this is not a relationship, then this is just whatever. This, this is a general reading, guys. So just take what resonates and leave what doesn't. But you got to let this go. And then, but then the sun being here is a good thing. Cause even though it was talking about some narcissistic tendencies, um, for some of you, for others of you, it's talking about just illumination. You're, 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 you're seeing the heartbreak for what it is. You're seeing the situation for what it really is. You're seeing how you're carrying all this burden and you need to just drop it. Yeah. Moving forward with your story, we have 
the Six of Wands with Temperance. Okay. So uh, you're moving forward, right? If you have let go of this, whatever this relationship was, that absolutely is a victory for you. Um, and with temperance here, you're being asked to have some patience, maybe with yourself, if you haven't let go of the situation yet. Um, and if you haven't, once you do make the decision to let go, it will be a victory, um, a personal victory for you. And greater balance will be restored to your life, right? I mean, because you won't be giving to a situation that isn't giving back anymore. And so the victory comes in the form of greater balance in your life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm being called to speak to Twin Flames here. If you are uh, realizing the overburdened nature of your Twin Flame situation, um, and you're being asked, you're being called to by yourself to let let go of this and walk away from it. It's a victory because in the long run, right? In the long run, it will lead to union, which Temperance is talking about. But you have to see the situation for what, for what it really is. That's what the Sun is saying to me. You have to. Now. Um, if you end up making an offer to someone else, Virgo, um, it could cause heartbreak. It could cause a third, you know, it could absolutely cause heartbreak for like, say your twin, if your twin finds out about it, like say you guys are in separation and you really haven't been communicating and then you start, you like start dating someone else and your twin finds out about it. Oh yeah, that's going to be heartbreaking, but it's going to be illuminating at the same time, especially for them. And then also... Um, you're being reassured that with the sun and with the six of wands and even with temperance, you're being reassured that everything's going to be okay. It's going to just, it's going to facilitate union down the road because it's going to give you both uh, a greater space to heal. Yeah. Next in your story, Virgo, we have the ace of cups. Looky at that with the four of swords. A timeout is what I'm getting. Now, I'm going to go back to Twin Flames for a second. A timeout in a brand new relationship. This is speaking to you ha finding an emotion, a new emotional, f emotionally fulfilling start somewhere and that leading you to have this timeout from your twin so that you guys can really focus on the healing that needs to take place. Okay? Outside of Twin Flame relationships. Virgo, you maybe you're taking a break from you're 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 resting you're resting somehow you're taking a mental break um, in order to reach this Ace of Cups. Yeah. I'm just seeing what I'm seeing with these two cards. I'm I'm just it's um it's almost like a mental vacation. You know what I mean? It's a, it's a mental break. It's a, I feel like it's kind of a vacation. And in this vacation, you are filling up your cup again. You have a new start, a new opportunity to, and you got, didn't you get the Ace of Pentacles? Yes, the Ace of Pentacles down here. So what I'm really seeing is that whatever this new start, whatever this new love maybe, or new, new emotionally fulfilling thing is for you, it's leading to a restful period, which is great. I, it just feels really good to me. It's almost like a vacation, a respite. You are finding a vacation in this Ace of Cups, whatever that resonates, whatever that is for you. Moving forward, King of Pentacles. Ooh, so you are showing up here potentially, Virgo, in the King of Pentacles. I, uh, please understand that the King of Pentacles and the, the court cards are really just energy. I Don't get caught up in the gender, okay? King of Pentacles with the High Priestess. Now, some of you, if you are, say, a, a, a divine masculine, you are um, connecting with your intuition. You're connecting with your feminine energies. The High Priestess can be a depiction of um, the divine feminine. And here I see a divine masculine 
especially now if you are an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, this definitely could be you. Um, or you're just, I mean, especially if this is now speaking to the divine masculine here, you have been very much embodying the king of pentacles energy lately because you're just trying to get your physical life together. You're trying to get your finances in order. You're trying to, you know, start that new job or whatever, like whatever that may be for you. But now you're starting to reach a period where you are connecting with your intuition, connecting with your inner secrets. You could also be looking at your divine feminine from your earthly point of view. Because I'm seeing, because this guy, this man looks like he's kind of looking up at something, right? And so with the two cards coupled together here, I'm seeing the divine masculine looking up at the divine feminine saying, how do I get up there? I'm all the way down here in all my earthly presence. How do I get up there? Mm -hmm. And this very well could be what this, um, this, this respite here is leading towards. Especially if the divine feminine goes off and is and gets another and starts dating someone else right now, I mean, then her romantic attention is going to be focused elsewhere. So then that's going to give you divine masculine a chance to really connect with yourself. Maybe even group, form a greater connection with your divine feminine, um, in the form of a friendship, or in on energetic terms. Because as you as as things go move forward, you'll be able to um, you'll be able to do some more of your work in your own self and connect with yourself spiritually con and continue to connect with your high priestess within your feminine energies within, which will then help gravitate you guys back together. Because then you're you're becoming whole even more. Yeah, Virgo. Okay, moving forward with your story, we have the Nine of Wands. Just keep going. This came up for the Taurus card too, or for Taurus. Yeah, look, the Hierophant. So Taurus is showing up here, Virgo, um, in the Hierophant. But what this to me is saying is keep fighting. Keep going because you're almost there. And now, and it's, it's like the next step for, oh, wow. Okay, uh, I have something to say in a second, but the next step here, it's like the next step for you, Virgo, is to start honoring the inner hierophant. Start honoring the inner spiritual guide that, you know, you possess, that you are. And then on my what, what struck me just now was we have the counterparts um, in a depiction of, the divine feminine and divine masculine, the divi divine feminine here in the high priestess and her counterpart, the Hierophant. Excellent. But here, specifically for you, Virgo, or for some of you at least, because this is a general reading, so take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Now you're being asked to look to your inner guides for the next step on your journey, because you're really, you're almost there. You really are almost there. And it may, it may not seem like that, it may seem like things have gotten have gotten so out of whack that you're even further from your destination than you than you were before, but that is definitely not the case. Because now the next step is to continue going within and follow your own guidance, your own inner hierophant, not the ones outside of you. Finally, Virgo, for your story, the King of Swords with the Five of Cups. All right. This is definitely a message for some divine masculines out there um, because you're about, <laughs> you're about to be mourning something. But what it's saying here with the King of Swords is that, um, uh, uh, that you're looking at it objectively. You know what I mean? You're not you're you're trying to figure it out. You're trying to understand why things have transpired the way they have, why a certain turn has been taken, why a certain curveball has been thrown at you. Or it might seem like a curveball, but it really isn't because what you're in the process of doing right now or will be during this part of the month is understanding how you've gotten here. Looking at things objectively and I'm hearing taking responsibility for your actions. 
Hmm. Um, yeah. Because the Five of Cups talks about, you know, crying over spilled milk, mourning something. But understand, I want you guys to play, pay very close attention to this. That man in the Five of Cups is spilling over, is crying over these three spilled cups here. But he still has two behind him. All is not lost. Okay? Keep that in mind. All is not lost. All right, Virgo. There it is. I hope you enjoyed. I hope it was helpful. I will see you guys for the first half of your April reading. Yeah? Much love to you all. Take care. Bye-bye.